True Gamer here with another episode. Okay, welcome to episode two of the Retro Circle. Today we're going to concentrate on one of my most precious console I have ever owned. And the reason why, just looking at this guys, it brings a smile to my face because because the Sega Master System is very special to me for the simple fact that this was my very first ever console. I must have been about seven or eight when I got this. And this was bought, bought for me by my mum and my honourable dad. He's no longer here with me right now. But, and I've got to say, when I got this master system at that time, I never had a more happier memory than that time. So I've got to say, it was definitely one of the best times of my life receiving something like this. Anyway guys, let's get down to the unboxing. Okay guys, as you see, this is how they designed the boxes back then. I got the the, um, the Sega Light Phaser edition and it came with, this has got two games built in. As you see, Hang On and you got the, the gun game there, Safari Hunt. Now, pity with the gun game, it doesn't work on these modern day TVs. You actually need a CRT TV for it to have effect. But there you go, it just shows you some of the accessories that you could have got back in the day. You see there, you can add the 3D glasses, the rapid fire unit. Also, you could have bagged yourself a, a joystick there play with the fighting games and it came with two pads and a gun. Now let's take a look at the, the actual system itself. I'm going to showcase you a game actually running in real time at the end of the video. Well, as you see guys, it was neatly packed in this polystyrene packaging there. And this is how they used to come with this kind of, I don't know what they used to call it, I just call it polystyrene. It's more like a foam, spongy foam thing. They used to pack their consoles in something like this. And yeah, and they just stuck it in a cardboard box with pretty illustrations decorated around on it. But yeah, this is how it came, guys. But first up, let me just show you what the, the power supply looked like. This is the AC mains adapter. This is the UK version. They did have a Japanese version of this, but um, and it looked completely different. I much prefer the European version. But look at that, that was just a monster of a power supply there. So that's the AC adapter. You can also get a scart lead for this, but I haven't got one. So I have to use the the RF TV cables for that. And here's the light phaser guys. This is our yeah, this is our mini version of virtual reality. This was the light the Sega light phaser. This is our input device. I like how they have engraved and crafted the Sega logo. Light phaser. And this is what your TV cables look like, guys. You had this little adapter here, and what you do, you this goes this bit goes into the into the system, and you put this into game. So you could have changed it from TV and stuff. But yeah, you go to game anyway, there, and you put it into your TV. Simple. 
you're much better off to get yourself a SCART lead has a better quality picture and it's just much more simple to connect because not everyone has the right cables and stuff it's a lot of cables you have to fiddle around with just to get it working on your TV okay this is not in the best condition but considering the age of this thing it's pretty decent but yeah, this is what the Sega Master System actually looked like. There is where you put your game. You put your game's cartridge here. You had the pause button, guys. You had the reset. And here you can even have a card. Some games, you, they used to make some games where it was like a little game card. Like how the, the PC Engine games are for the Japanese version. And then we had the power supply here, and this is your ports for your um, your joy pads. And here are some of the ports at the back. And you see, you have you can have the AVI, that's the SCART lead. Then you got the RF, and then you got your power supply there. I think I've done it in the right order. Yeah power supply, RF out and the AV, AVI out so yeah guys this is what the actual machine looked like back in the 80's legendary what a masterpiece this was let me just show you the pad quickly so this was, well this was also a game changer this joypad here although the NES was the first to do it but Sega had their own different different twist to their to their control pad which looked superb and there you go it got the input again but yeah this was a fabulous design back then man two buttons fantastic absolutely fantastic now I'm gonna I'm gonna power this up and show you a few games but before I do that let me just show you a few games how the boxes were back then and what actually came with it this was the Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion box and back then guys we always had a manual Here's what the cartridge would have looked like, which you put into the top, like so. Demonstrate it. Let me give you a demonstration. Cartridge. That's what the Sega Mars system looked like with the cartridge. This is nostalgia at its ultimate best. Okay. Then we have the manuals. I'm just going to give you a glimpse at these manuals, you know. I won't show every manual, but yeah, they used to come with manuals like this, guys. Got to say, they don't make them like this anymore. My very first game was the Sonic 1. This is Sonic 2. But I had Sonic 1 as my very first game. Along with Rustan. For some reason I can't even open it. This comes complete again in the box with all the manuals and everything. quite a good selection of Sega Mars System games to be honest I think I've got about 10 or 11 I want to get more though That's Sonic then this is to go with the gun Laser Ghost so you can use your Sega light phaser with this and it comes complete again with all the, the booklets and everything 
case is in great condition apart from a few hiccups on the back there then we have one of my most favorite games back then which I used to play a ton of and that is Rocky and this was not your ordinary cartridge they've upped the graphics and this was the very first 2 megabit cartridge they used to do so obviously back then this was like um, how I say there's like an upgrade to their cartridges so it had better graphics better better effects and whatnot yeah this is like how they how they do it now where they might bring out games with more gig on the disc with upgraded software and whatnot but that's how they used to upgrade their software back then give you a bigger cartridge store more stuff on there so I've got two copies of Sonic 2 for some reason this one not complete looks very empty about their manual there okay oh yeah Sonic Rustan and this brings back glorious memories and that is Slapshot one of the one of the only hockey games I've ever played and one of the only hockey games I absolutely enjoyed and played the hell out of with with um, couch co-op you, you had your friends round and you just had you can just challenge them to death and this one comes complete again with the manual which is very very hard to find this game I've got to say the box is flipping mint look at that crisp as crisp as they come yeah this is one of my first ever games man I remember going into the game shop which is no longer there in um, my town centre queuing up and the, the game shop was absolutely packed people getting their Nintendo and Sega games man the game industry was booming back then man believe me in the 80s and 90s I've got two, oh my gosh I've got two Castle of Illusions as well might have to put one up for eBay, definitely, yeah, I might as well. I'll pick which one's the most best. I'll pick the one that's in the most best. I'll pick the one that's in the, the best condition, and I'll keep that one. So the other one, it seems this one's in good condition. Maybe the manual could have been better. manual cartridge is better what's the box saying sell that one and Sonic so. and then we got Chase HQ another excellent game made by Taito it's the back of it did it come complete yeah got them complete box there complete set under all, the, all its necessities And then we have another magnificent game, guys, which I used to play for hours on end, and that's Zillion 2, The Triformation. And I've really, if you check my channel, I've got some footage up from um, uh, on my Retro Friday. I played this, and I showcased exactly what the game footage actually would look like back then. Yeah, and I showcased 
me playing it on the Sega Master System so you can have a good idea of what the so you have a good idea of what the game is all about if you just um, take a quick look at that. I'll leave the link down below. But yeah, Zillion 2. Did it come complete? Yep. Came with his manuals. And this is another up upgraded cartridge. It was a mega cartridge. It wasn't too mega though, but it was a, still an upgrade to what the original cartridges were. And then last but not least, we got a boring game which I've never ever been good at and that's Sega Chest and as you look guys you see Sega Chest there and oh, it didn't come with a manual but it came oh yeah it did come with a manual oh my god this manual is absolutely in spick and spam condition look at that for its age anyway but then we also grab ourselves a little poster showing you Sega, the Sega Games catalogue and it's also displaying all the accessories you can actually get with your system as you see there you got the version 2 Sega Master System 2 they brought out another version after this which looked I always prefer the originals of everything so I'm not really a fan of Sega Master System 2 but it didn't look too bad so I always prefer the first version and there it just shows you all the games up and coming games and the games they've already got and it also gives you a glimpse of the gameplay and imagine that this used to come with your games they don't do that now give you a little a little catalogue of what to expect in the coming future and show you all the um, all the equipment you can actually order or plan to buy in the future because that even shows you all the other systems that are available right now there you go Sega catalog, Sega games catalog. This is definitely an antique in itself. This must be hard to find, but I can make a few bob on this. So yeah guys, now I'm gonna show you some actual, no. Okay, also which was very exclusive back then, for each game they used to put the category in the top right corner there. Yeah, top right corner. Uh, this, this chess game was Family. Um, don't see it there for Brazilian one for some reason. Chase HQ used to get Arcade. Slap shot and all the sports games, you would have had sports in the top right corner there. And for some reason, Rocky doesn't have it, should have been sports. Laser for the laser gun, where you have to shoot stuff, you've got shooting there. And Sonic, they classed it not platform, they classed it as an action game. One of my honourable mentions, which I haven't got, is Vigilante. Played the shit out of that game. Used to love it. Vigilante. Rustan. Um, what else was there? Alex Kid. So they're three games that I am planning to invest in in the future. Bring back some more happy memories. Okay guys, stay tuned, I'm going to show you some gameplay footage. Unfortunately guys, I can't show any gameplay right now because the cables I got isn't compatible with the modern day TV. I actually need to buy myself uh, a Pacific SCART lead for this system and it would just run perfectly fine in TVs like this. So, 
Anyway, I hope you liked the video of me taking a trip down memory lane to one of these. Yeah, this was Sega's first ever console and yeah, I'm definitely proud to say that I owned one of these back when I was a, a little innocent kid. Okay guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.